this morning and I pray to the most high The sun is shining so bright I'm blessed to live this life Shalom, sister, shalom, shalom. You know, first and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory praises to the Most High, Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Um, and today we're just going to be touching on, you know, not complaining and just being thankful for what you have. And this is the spirit because Sis Mawathia just briefly touched on being content in one of her videos. Um, and I've also just been thinking about not complaining the past few weeks because something I've noticed within our community we complain so much. We complain about everything. Some don't go your way. You're complaining. This is wrong. You're complaining. Oh, it's too hot. Oh, it's too cold. It's just always complaining about anything. So I just wanted to talk about it um, through the spirit. Because a lot of the times it's easy to get caught up in all the negatives and what's going bad in our life. But we need to be in praise mode more than complaining. So I wanted to encourage sisters to turn your negatives into joy. Um, and I'm going to start off with First Peter 4 and 11. Um, and it reads, If any man speak, let him speak as the organs of Yahweh. If any man minister, let him do it as the ability which Yahweh giveth, that Yahweh and all things may be glorified through Yahweh Shaham Mashiach to him be praised in the man forever and ever. Amen. So just want to speak the orgs of the most high and ultimately you know i want to because it's only other most high that i'm able to do these things to have understanding of the scriptures in hebrews 10 and 24 and let us hope um and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good work so ultimately i'm, I'm on here to provoke my sisters unto good works through the prosperity how about shema shai but back to the uh, point of discussion um the sister it's a light kosher cartoon. She did a, um, she makes these lessons on her community every Shabbat, which I think is beautiful. And the sister Susanna, scripture with Susanna, she posts a Sabbath lesson every Shabbat. So I think it's real beautiful and mighty how these sisters, they stay consistent and diligent in their work. So hey, if y'all watching that, I'll praise the most high. Uh, shout out to y'all for being obedient to the spirit. It provoking me to good works, you know, because I was reading uh, the Sister Is Like Kosher, Kosher Cartoons. She makes very beautiful cartoons, but I was reading one of her posts. It was going into happiness, and it's actually what also made me want to do this. Um, but this is a screenshot from the post, and she's basically going into happiness. And a lot of things, you know, we can let affect our happiness. You know, um, family, marriage, job, children, comparing with other people's lives, reminiscing on the past. Those are things... Um, that we can um it's things that what am i trying to say we stress about um it's things that can steal our joy if we allow it you know um because bills means you have a place to stay job means you have an income you know it means that you're able to bring in money for your home um family will you have family to be there for you to help bear your burdens to help comfort you Marriage means you have someone to build with, even through the ups and downs, even when things get hard, that's still your partner for life. You know, children mean you have someone to build up, you have someone to nurture, to care for, to raise up in the right way. So although people may see children as a burden or see see children as something to stress about, oh my goodness, these kids, I got to get all these shoes and clothes for them. You know, that's some people, little people you're able to build up. Seeing other people flourish can motivate you. So instead of comparing your life to other people, oh, that sister got so many talents. That sister, she, um, she, uh, she just dropping all these videos and she got so many talents and she just always dressing nice. That can inspire you to, you know, dress more modestly. That can inspire you to go harder in your works. You know, thinking about the past can show you how far you've come instead of reminiscing and wallowing in it. You know, oh my goodness. I just, you know, instead of soaking in your sorrow. They can um, provoke you to go harder for the most high because of how far he's brought you. So those are some things that we seem to let steal our joy and stress about, which actually things we could turn be turned to positive. So I want to challenge you all, whatever you're complaining about, find a way to turn it into a positive, right? And I also have some more I want to say. So many bills means money. You, you, um, oh my gosh, I got so many bills. Well, that's money. You have to pay them. Oh, I have so much to clean. Well, that it's a household to clean. 
oh, I have so many mouths to feed. Well, you have um, food to go in your home. You have children to feed. You have a husband to feed. You have families to feed. Long hours, you know, at least you have a job. Not too much money on groceries, at least you have money to buy food. You know, so those are just some things that came to mind that I wrote on my own. Um, and like I said, um, I don't know. It's a, it's a lot of other things that can be written down, you know. So I want to challenge y'all to write some things down. Maybe drop them in the comment section. But this is Galatians 5 and 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against us, there's no law. So if we're saying we're striving to be Christ-like, if we're striving to please your high Shemal Shai, then we should be moving in the fruit of the Spirit. Because that is how we live. It is the flesh that profit of nothing. It is the Spirit that quickeneth, John 6 and 63. So we want to move in the spirit because Galatians 5 and 16, this I say, then walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh for the lust for the flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other so that you cannot do the things that you would. So we want to move in the spirit and by moving in the spirit, that means we're walking the fruits of the spirit. So you can't be in the spirit if you're not in joy. Right. So I want to encourage you to move in joy more because um, there's so much we have to be thankful for, you know. Philippians 4 and 4 rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice so we should be rejoicing in the Lord always always because the most High has done so much for us you know he's brought us to this truth he's allowed us to know who we are he's um he allowed us to know we're Israelites he's allowed us to have understanding of the scriptures he's allowed us to keep these feast days and even for my sisters that are not in the truth um that are not aware of who we are according to the Bible the most High still provides he still makes a way for you you know um he just has mercy. That's who he is. But we don't want to abuse his mercy, right? We don't want to take the most mercy for granted. So it's just so easy. Our people just complain so much. It's just so easy to get caught up in the complaints. But I really want to just encourage us to please turn your complaints into something positive. Please. Because the most I could take it away in any given second. And it could be a lot worse than you think. You know, because, you know, these things we go through right now, they're just light anyways. You know, so we over here complaining. And the Lord could turn it up a notch if he chose to. Oh, you want to complain? Okay, okay. Oh, Israel, happy are we for the things that are pleasing to you, how are made known unto us. So we have so much to be happy for. The things that are pleasing to the Most High are made known unto us. Not everybody knows what pleases the Most High. Not everybody knows that keeping the commandments please the Most High. Not everybody um, is able to repent. Not everybody is able to um, seek the Most High. Not everybody is able to keep these feast days. So happy are we because we know what pleases the Most High. So there's a lot to be happy for. So we have to stay in the spirit. I want to go to Psalms on 46. Psalms on 46 and 5. Oh, I'm starting one. Praise you the Lord. Praise the Lord on my soul. While I live, while I praise the Lord, I will sing praise unto my God while I have any being. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. His breath go forth, he returneth to his earth, and that very day his thoughts perish. Happy is he that hath the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God. And so happy are we that we have Yahweh as our God. No, we could have been heathens, we could have been bugged out, we could have been still in darkness. But you are an Israelite, you are a son of... Um, I mean, a daughter of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai. You are the daughter of Zion. You have a shot at the kingdom of heaven. You're going to have servants of Hamas, Lord willing. You are not a healing. You're not an Edomite. Edom, Ed, Esau has no place of repentance, as Hebrew says. You are able to repent. The Most High shows you how you can be better. The Most High has blessed you with talents. He has a roof over your head, clothes on your back, food on your table. You have so much to be thankful for. Why are you complaining? Be content with what you have. Be content with where you are. Because the Lord could take everything away from you. Even the little things we complain about. You know? Hey, at least we have a household to clean. At least we ain't able, we ain't able to have food. At least we able to cook. But it's, see, it's the little things we take for granted. Being able to actually see, physically see, and spiritually see. Being able to physically hear and and spiritually hear. We take those little things for granted when the Lord could just take it away in a blink of an eye. And we don't want that. So we want to praise the Lord always because it is of the Most High. A call a how about Shema Shai. All praise that I'm able to see physically and spiritually. All praise to the Most High. Thank you, Father God, that I'm able to see. Thank you, Yahweh about Shema Shai for food on, on my table. Thank you, Yahweh about Shema Shai for clothes on my back. Thank you, Yahweh about Shema Shai for lights. Thank you, Yahweh about Shema Shai for this. Thank you, Yahweh about Shema Shai. Thank you, Yahweh about Shema Shai. Praising the Lord day in and day out nonstop, right? So come, we just want to be thankful because not everybody's able to repent. Um, not everybody's able to call upon the name of the Lord. 
it could be worse remember that it could i'm not trying to minimize what sisters go through but we have to um it's like you it, it could have we could have a, a worse hand dealt to us so i'm gonna go to side right one and two Hold on, is this what I want? Mm, 12, so like you. The fear of the Lord maketh a merry heart and giveth the joy and gladness and a long life. So when you fear the Most High, meaning when you keep His commandments, you're supposed to be having a merry heart. You, It says you're supposed to have joy and gladness. So why are we so much in sorrow? Why are we um, complaining? Right, and I'm going to go to Colossians chapter 3 and verse 2. It says, if then ye be risen with Yahweh Shai, seek those things which are above, where Yahweh Shai sitteth on the right hand of Yahweh. So we're supposed to be born again, right? We're supposed to be uh, in this truth, moving the spirit of Yahweh Shai. So we're supposed to seek those things which are above. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. So our affection should be on things above. Not what you do and don't have. Not what not I want, I want, I want. I want, I want, I want. Set your affection on things above. Getting the kingdom. Striving to be a better wife. Striving to be a better mother. Striving to be a better daughter of Zion. Striving to put your hands to the ministry more. Striving to use your talents more. Fasting more. Reading more. Praying more. You know, of course, taking care of business and righteousness. But your mind is supposed to be on things above. Not on things of this earth. Not on, oh, I want that car. Ooh, I need this. I want, I want, I want, I want, I want. Just finding anything to complain about. It's a Sirach chapter um, 5 and verse 7. And it reads. Okay, this. Okay, they playing with me. They taking me to Sirach 3. I don't like it when it look like this. Oh, I was just 5. Make no tearing, no, eight. Set not thine heart upon goods unjustly guided, for they shall not profit thee in the day of calamity. So any of these, all these things we have is vanity anyway. It's not going to profit us when all hell break loose. These things are going to perish. These things are not going to be here forever. So stop trying to be like, just stop complaining. Stop comparing yourself with other people. Stop trying to have the newest of the newest of everything. I need that BMW. I need that, I need that, um, that Chanel bag. I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I want, I want, I want. And these things, these are gonna, these things are gonna pass away. We gotta be content with what we have and be thankful that the Most High has given us anything. Cause we will find anything to complain about. But I want to ask sisters this: what, what is your positive? What, what do you have to be thankful for? And I really want y'all to write these things down. Write them in the chat box, Lord, with the description, uh, the comment section. What do you have to be thankful for? How can you turn your complaints, your your negatives, into joy? Right. This is Philippians 4 and 11. Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am there to be content. I know both how to bathe and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things, I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. So Paul was like, look, no matter what I got going on, I know how to um, I know how to be content. I know how to be OK where I am. You know, I know how to be satisfied with whatever, even when I'm hungry, even when I'm full. I've, I know how it is to feel both of those things, and I know how to praise the Most High regardless. So we just have to be in that mindset of praising the Most High no matter where we are. And, you know, if you don't have something, it's because the Most High don't see you fit. You know, me and my other one, we just moved into our place a week ago. All praise the Most High. Um, calling how about Shimmer Shai. And we were long distance a year and 11 months, almost two years. And it was tough. Right. And I went through a lot of seasons of not being content. I went through a lot of seasons of being content. It was at one point where I finally was the most I finally put in my spirit just to be content. You know, I finally was able to overcome that spirit of not being content through the spirit. So I understand that demon is heavy. Um, But you have to remember that you can overcome and do all things to you. have a shot which strengthens us and that you have power to tread upon these serpents and scorpions and over all the power to enemy. Nothing shall by any means, nothing shall by any means hurt you. Par roughly paraphrasing Luke 10 and um 19 on down. You know, so um, and and I must say that to say that, you know, well, the most I didn't see us fit. A long year and eleven months, we the most I didn't see us fit. He was getting us ready, he was preparing us, and so whatever you're complaining about, whatever you don't have, the most I does not see you fit. And when and if he sees you fit, he will give you the increase in due season. But until then, praise him in the hallway. Until then, 
keep faith. Don't lose courage until then you plant and sow and your how will water and give the he will give the increase. So like he will give the increase. But you have to be content where you are and maybe ask the most high. What's the lesson? What are you trying to show me? You know, what are you trying to do for me? Because the most high, he's trying to build your character. up. He's trying to build you up to be better. And he has greater plans than you ever imagined. So what you're praying for, he might bless you with that plus some. So just be content and wait it out. There's no rush. First Timothy 6 and 8. And having food and raiment, let us therewith be content. You know, so be content wherever you're at. Just be content. This is First Thessalonians um, 5 and 16. Rejoice evermore. What does evermore mean? Let's see. I want to see what this means. I'm curious. Evermore. I feel like it's going to be like everlasting. Okay, y'all play on me. Why y'all play on me? Always, forever, forever and ever, for all time, eternally, ceaselessly, without end, endlessly, forevermore. So rejoice, always, nonstop, day in, day out. Pray without season. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah Hamashiach concerning you. So in everything, be thankful, because at the end of the day, this is the most high will in your life. This is what he sees you fit to go through. This is what he sees you capable to handle and endure. This is the lot he's given you. So give thanks, no matter what you have or don't have, no matter if you don't have the, the wants of your or the, the desires of your heart. Give thanks, because the most high knows that you need. Matthew 6 and 8. He will grant you those things at the right time, but it's just not time yet, sis, and that's okay. But we're not going to complain, but we're going to rejoice. And when I want to get Proverbs 30 and 8. And the sister Mawanda did a beautiful video about being content a few months ago. It's called um, To Be Carly Minded as Death. So, Lord, y'all can check that out. This is the Proverbs 30 and 8. Remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. Lest I be fool and deny thee and say who is the Lord, or lest I be poor and steal and take the name of my God in vain. So this is a beautiful prayer to say, you know, because all these things are vanity anyways. The Lord could give us over the property, right? He can make it a lot worse. He could remove that roof over your head. You want to keep complaining about it, he could take it away. Whatever you're complaining about, he could take it away. And he, gonna, he, he could put us in poverty if he chose to, but he hasn't. So be thankful and be content with where you are. And I wanted to... um. Ended off with these for precepts. Because Job lost everything. What's the first thing he did? Job 1 and 20. And then Job arose and ran his mantle and shaved his head and fell down upon the ground and worshipped and said, Naked came out of my mother's womb and naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave and the Lord had taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And all this Job said not, nor charged how foolishly. So when all when all when everything in Job lost had been taken away and died, the first thing he did was praise the name of the Lord. He never complained. He never bucked up and said anything wicked. He was a man of integrity. He kept his integrity no matter what. Job 27 on down, I believe. So we're going to move in that type of spirit. That's why Paul said these scriptures are here for our learning. So we can learn from our foremothers and forefathers and see how they move in certain situations. And I want to say Philippians 2 and 14, do all things without murmurs and disputings. And murmur to mean basically mumble under your breath. So do all things without murmurs. And just remember that the most high gives the increase. Um... And I want to read this precept from Sirach 39, and I'm going to just close it off there. This is Sirach 39 and verse um, 26. That's the spirit. The principal things for the whole use of man's life are water, fire, iron, and salt, flour, wheat, honey, milk, and the blood of the grape, and oil and clothing. So as long as you've got those things, you're good. And I'm going to read 33. All the works of the Lord are good, and he will give every needful thing in due season. So the Most High will give every needful thing in due season when he sees fit. So be content where you are. Stop complaining because the Most High does not like that. It's a slap in his face. So everything he's done for you, it could be worse. I'm not minimizing your pain or anything you're going through, but it could be worse. You could be homeless, but you're not. So take your negatives into joy. Whatever you are complaining about, I want y'all to write down how you can turn it into a joy. Ask the Most High to lesson and just endure and don't lose hope in this season, because most high will and the most high will grant your desires of your heart. Psalms 37, 4 through 5 says that, you know, when you're obedient, when you're fearing the most high, he blesses you according to your labors. You know, that's in the scriptures. Psalms 1 to 8 says, blessed is the man that feareth the Lord. You know, happy thou shalt be, it shall be well with thee. Thou shalt eat the fruit of thy labor, roughly paraphrasing. So, you know, the most high, he blesses those that do his will. 
Right, so it'll eventually come when the Most High sees fit, Lord willing. But you got to continue to endure and praise the Most High in the hallway and not be complaining and caught up on the bads and the negatives because it could be worse, you know. So just be thankful for where we are, for where you are, sisters. It's a lot we have to be thankful for. Um, and I don't want to make it too long, so I'm just in it there. You know, remember that, you know, happy are we for the most I have made was well pleasing to him made on unto us. Right. So um not everybody has an artist in it here. Not everybody able to it's not everybody don't have roof over their head and clothes on their back. You know, um so just be content, y'all. Um I love y'all, Lord and I continue to endure, Lord and have a beautiful Shabbat prep. Shabbat <laughs> and um con. Um Bubba Kasha, keep your girl in in prayers. Bubba Kasha, um please throw some prayers up for me. But kind of I continue to endure. Shalom. Woke up this morning and I 